Great news. I'm happy to be releasing an update to Ryan's tools. Version 1.1 adds three new features as well as fixes a few glitches with the existing tools. First, let's check out Holodeck. Now, say you're working on a model and it's very symmetrical. By default in ZBrush, it can be hard to tell what direction you're looking at the model from. So is this up, is this down, is this the top, what's front, what's back? So I made this feature called Holodeck. It kind of reminds me of the Holodeck from Star Trek. It creates this 3D grid that helps you orient yourself in space. So you can see right here, we've got the light, which is at the top of the room. So we know if we rotate this around, we're going to be looking at it uh, with the light there from, coming from the top. So we know that this is now oriented correct up and down. And also down here at the floor, you can see there's a little shadow. So you know that that's the bottom of the room. And also what I've got here is one of these walls is blue. So the blue wall is the back of the room. If we come around the other side, you can see that one of these walls is red. So that's the front of the room. If you're looking at it from the side, you can notice that this gradient goes from blue to red. So that way you know you're looking at it from the side. And if you flip around the other way, you can tell that that blue gradient is going the other direction. So you always know which side is front and back, which side is top and bottom. As a side note, I actually teach how to do this with your own image in my tips and tricks course on lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning. Speaking of which, I just released a totally new essential training course for ZBrush 2018, which is the best way to learn ZBrush, other than hanging out with me in person anyway. I highly recommend getting a subscription and watching these courses. Links in the description below. Okay, back to the plugin. Next, let's take a look at Paintflow. So there's some issues with the default RGB intensity slider in ZBrush. For one, I often want to use it at the lowest intensity for a soft airbrushing effect. So you just drag this all the way down to the left and you try to paint on it and nothing happens. That's because at zero intensity, there's no paint to paint with. So what I find myself having to do all the time is drag this to the left, but then drag it just a little bit to the right until I get one. And that way I can paint with a soft effect. Second, the calibration of the color intensity is really bad. So on 100% intensity, it does what you might expect. It's a really solid effect. If I set this to 50, or roughly somewhere in the middle, and paint again, you can see it's still a very solid effect. Uh, even if I set this all the way down to something like 10 or 12, you can see it's still a very heavy result. And even on one, you can see that it could be a lot softer. So let's fix this. I'm gonna go into preferences, enable customize. Let's hold down control and alt and click and drag on RGB intensity and throw it away because we're gonna be putting paint flow in its place. Now paint flow just works exactly like you'd expect. Okay, with paint flow set to one, let's see what the result looks like. So you can see it's so faint, you might not even be able to tell what's happening. If I hit control Z to undo that, now you can see the difference. Setting it to something like 50% gives you a result that actually feels like 50% intensity. So paint flow just works intuitively with slider values giving results that you expect. Finally, let's look at my radial symmetry button. Now to activate symmetry the old fashioned way, you'd go up to transform and you'd have to turn on symmetry first, then you turn on radial symmetry, and then you go and see it's maybe not going in the direction you expected. So you go back up to transform, uh, turn on Y, turn off X, Okay, now you've got radial symmetry activated. Now, if you wanna go back to regular symmetry mode, you have to go back up to transform, you have to turn off radial symmetry, and then you have to reset how you had the axis set up before. So it's this big, tedious dance. My radial sim plugin button fixes all of that. So just one click on it puts you into radial symmetry mode, and one click gets you out. Now, the great thing about this is it remembers the settings. So if I hit X to turn off symmetry, I go into radial symmetry mode, and maybe we change the axis that it's on, we change the number of the count. Okay, so we've got this set up like this. And then if we click on radial sim again, it goes back to uh, regular mode with or without the symmetry, it remembers what mode it was on. And then if we click on radial sim again, it goes right back into the same settings we had before. So such a time saver. All right, that's it for the update 1.1. Now remember, Ryan's Tools is always free, so go ahead and download it with the link in the description. If you have made a donation already, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. 
If you downloaded the previous version and didn't leave a tip, that's okay. I want you to benefit from these tools even if you can't afford to tip. But if you can, please make a donation when you download this update.